Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on uh, number puzzle. It says that uh, Tendulkar played 10 innings in which his scores were these, not necessarily in this order. An interesting thing was noticed that after each innings his average was an integer. And he gave a couple of more hints to figure out the runs scored by in different innings. So his average after 7th and 9th innings was the same. After no other innings he had that same average. He did not score more than 50 in his first two innings. So we are just given this much of information and using this information we need to determine his scores in various innings. So maybe we might not be able to determine for all but we can definitely determine for a good number of innings. So we shall make a table like this. Uh, first of all let us do one thing is just add these numbers. Okay. Uh, if we add this, this is 59, 96, 142, 194, uh, 251, 313, 389, uh, 467, 467 plus 143, 610. So he had a total score of 610 after 10th innings and his average was 61. Okay. Now we cannot start from first because we do not know what was his score in the first two innings. We are just given that he did not score more than 50. So it could be 27, 32, 30. So we have multiple combinations possible. But here we can make out that it is 610 and 61 is the average. Now if we look at the hint that is given to us that is average after 7th and 9th innings was the same. So the question is can we find his average after 9th innings because if we are able to do so we will be able to get his average here as well and that will give us these two totals and probably we can find that what was his average at the end of 8th innings. Okay. Alright. So now if we see this his average at the end of 10th innings was 61. He had 610 runs. So after 9 innings his runs should be a multiple of 9. Okay. So what number should we add to a multiple of 9 so that we get 610. So this is how we need to figure out that what number should be added here so that we get 610. Now uh, one thing that uh, you might be knowing is the divisibility of 9 is the easiest to get. Okay. It is the digit sum. So if we see the digit sum here in 10th innings his digit sum is 7. Here the digit sum should be 0 or basically 9. Okay. So that means he must this score should have a digit sum of 7. Okay. So that is the best way to figure out because else you would try hit and trial that would take 10 calculations to figure out what was his score here. But this digit something will help you reduce the cases drastically. So 2 plus 7 is 9 that is not possible. 3 plus 2 is 5, 10, uh, 10 and there is 7. So this could be 1. Let us see 12 that is 7. Uh, sorry 12 that is 3, 8, 13 which is 4, 15 which is 6 and 8. So there is only one number which digit sum 7. So even if you do not know this digit sum you could have done hit and trial and identified it. So that means he scored 52 in this innings. So 52 that makes it 610 subtract 52 we get 558 okay. So his total after 9 innings is 558. So let us divide 9, 558 by 9 we get 62. So his total here is also 62 right. So we will just take it 62. So 62 into 7 if we do that gives us 420 plus 14 434. So his total after 7 innings was 434. Okay. Now in these two innings, 8th plus 9th innings, he should score 558 minus 434 if we do, we get 124. So let us find a couple of uh, scores that uh, add up to 124. Okay. 27 does not add with anything, 32 does not, 37 does not. So we can clearly see it is 46 and 78. 46 plus 78 make it 124. So that means he must have 46 or 78 in these two. So now let us do one thing. What if we, we, we put 46 here? If he scored 46 in this innings, his total must have been 480. And that is uh, an average would have been 60 in that case, right? 
But if we have 78 here, what will happen in that case? If we put 78, his total would be 512. And his average will be 64. Perfectly fine. In both cases, he has an integer average. All right. Now, if we uh, have that, now in that case, if he has 46 here, in that scenario, he should have 78 here. Because 480 plus 78 will give 558. And if we are considering 78 here, that is 512, then he should have 46 here to make it 558. Okay. So that means we are sorted with these two values as well. Now, uh, we are also given that uh, this thing we will get and uh, one question we can answer is what could be his maximum average at the end of 8th innings. So end of 8th innings he could have a maximum average of 64. Okay now we are also given that he has this uh, average uh, of this which is same. Now let us look at the 6th innings. Now 6th inning to 7th innings his average is, his total is 434, okay. So after 6 innings, his total, uh, his uh, total should be a multiple of 6 and let us say it is 6x, okay. Now if we add some runs, let us say y, his total becomes 434, okay. So if we see this 434, we can say that 72 into 6 plus 2. This was already a multiple of 6. So that means he needs to score something which is a multiple of 6 plus 2. So why can we say as 10 n plus 2, sorry 6 n plus 2? Because if we see the pattern of these numbers, right, it is divisible by 6, it is divisible by 6 plus 2. So that means whatever we are adding should be 2 more, okay, then a multiple of 6. So, if we look at the numbers, then we can possibly have 32 or we can have 62, right? These are the two possibilities. Suppose we consider 62 here, right? Suppose we say that 62. So, that means his average will remain 62 because he is scoring the same number of runs, right? If he scores 62, his average would have been 62 itself. See, there is a condition given that after no other innings, he had that same average. So that means 62 does not fit here. So 62 does not fit here. That means 32 will fit here. So he scored 32 in the seventh innings and his total here was 402. So 402 if we divide by 6 that is 67. Okay. All right. So we have figured out his average till here. We have figured out his score here. Now uh, if we look at uh, the second condition he says that he did not score more than 50 in the first two innings. So now there are only two numbers left less than 50, 27 and 37. So it means that in the first two innings his scores are either 27 or 37 in any order. Okay, so after first innings his score will be either 27 or 37 depending on what does he score and after second innings his total will be 64. So here we cannot find his average. But after second innings, we are sure that his average is 32. Okay, so that we figure out. Okay, so these also are also put. Now, after six innings, his average is 42. Okay, or we can also go by this thing. Let us start from here now. After two innings, it is 64. Now, let, me, let us check that what if we put 57. 64 we already have if we put 57 it will be 121 not divisible by 3 62 if we put this will be 126 which is possibly divisible by 3 okay uh, if we put 76 then we get uh, 140 which is not divisible by 3 we can also have 143 that makes us 207 which is divisible by 3 so either it is 62 or 143 okay so if we consider 62 here his total will be 126 and if we consider 143 his total will be 207 now if we consider 126 right so uh, now if we considering 126 this is 64 okay now we cannot add 57 to his fourth innings because that has to be a multiple of 4. We cannot add 143. That will again be an odd number. Even if we add 76, 
So we have 126 here. If we add 76, that will become 202. Again, which is not a multiple of 4. So this case gets eliminated. So 126 is not possible here. That means 62 is not possible. So we get a unique solution that he scored 143 here. Hence, his total is 207 or his average is 69 here. Okay, so 127, uh, 143 is also filled now. Now he needs to make it a multiple of 4. So he needs to get an odd number, okay, which is obviously 57. So 57, if we add, that means his total is 264 and his average is 66. Okay, now we need to make it a multiple of 5. So only possibility is 76 here. So if we add 76 here, okay, 76 will make it 340. Okay, so he made 340, that is average of 68 and the remaining number is 62. So 62 he will score here to take his average to 67 and a total of 402. So this is how we will get the order in which he scored the runs. Okay, so interesting one. Now uh, the first question asks what is his average after 6th innings that we were able to figure out that his average after 6th innings was 67. For how many innings can we uniquely determine his score? Unique score can be determined for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 innings. Now, this is different from this. We can uniquely determine his average for 8 innings, but his score can be determined for just 6 of the innings. Okay. In which innings did he get the highest score? He got the highest score in the third innings. And this we already solved that what could be his maximum average at the end of eight innings so that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions i hope you loved this set very uh, good uh, number based puzzle based on the concept of averages so don't forget to like this video